Hello YouTube world and welcome to Terry's quick beer review in his very cold shed. Now I've set myself up in here because there's a lot of things going on indoors again. Too much noise. Uh, it's bloody freezing so that's all wrapped up and uh, my little heater that I had in here seems to have <laughs> disappeared indoors and I forgot it was in there but uh, I ain't going to go and get it now. I'm just going to sit here and get cold. Um, right and I was digging around in my old sh uh, fridge that you can't see down here looking for some beers to do and uh, I come across this... Uh, Half maker, and it's a pale ale. And I thought, I don't want to do another pale ale because we're doing pale ales and pale ales. Still got pale ales in there, still got to do about three or four of them. It's in there still. And uh, but I looked at the tin and it's, it's gone out of date. <laughs> so I'll have to do this one soon. It's gonna have to be like the next one. I'll have to do it tomorrow or something like that. Ooh, two in a row, yeah. We'll have to do that tomorrow, but uh, yeah, it's gone out of date. But I don't want to do a pale ale, so I'll do that again some other time. But today we are going to do the Northbridge Brown Owl. Ooh, we've had a brown owl for a long, long, long time. But uh, I see this up at Aldi's not long back. And uh, I thought I'd get hold of it. So uh, here we go. Yeah, Northbridge brown owl. And it says drink cold, so you can see it's quite. Oh, that's where they are. It seems it's got all the. Uh... It's quite cold. It hasn't been out of the fridge that long. Um, let's have a look. Let me go around here. 4.7%, 500 ml bottle, and it says brown. Brown owls are lightly hopped, so the sweet chocolate and caramel flavours of the lightly roasted mulch should be front and central on this beer. Get out of the way. A rich dark chestnut colour with a creamy richness achieved by brewing with oats. Yes. Anyway, there we go. And that's the uh, top there. See that? Quite well, a good top that. Right, let's get away from it and into a glass. That's a bit of smoke there. Oh, being out here, I can smell that. Uh, yeah, it's got a bit of aroma already on this one. Yeah, we'll leave that in there. And there we go. I'm sorry the light's bad, but <laughs> stuck in my shed. It's quite a dark. Well, yeah, mahogany, loads of gas in there. That is flying up. You can't really see that in this light, can you? Sorry about that, but it's floating up. Flying up there. It does smell quite malty. A little earthiness to there. It smells quite good, actually. It's got slightly off-white head. Very fluffy off-white head. You can see that. Anyway, let's get down to tasting. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh. Now initially, because I like bitters, I can tell you straight away this is really sweet. It's quite a sweet beer. Oh. Sweet, caramelly toffee sort of sweetness to it. Sort of, nut, sort of nuts, flavour there, a little nuttiness, a little fruitiness. Does have a little bit of finish, but not great. You know, it's one of them beers again. It's it's it's, it's not bad. Oh, mad dog. It's not bad, but uh, it's not great either. It's. Uh, but, as again, I'm a bit biased because I do like a nice bit of finish to my drink and this is quite sweet. But, I mean, it's not too bad, but, you know, it's not brilliant either. And uh, as it goes, I think, uh, this is the, I think I got this from Aldi and it's one of their cheap ones. It looks like a Nuki Brown now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's cheap. So, I mean, it's pretty cheap, so you, you get what you pay for, as they say. And uh, it's not too bad. I mean, I'd drink it again, I probably would. You get over that initial sweetness. It's not too bad. It's all right. Yeah, I'd, I'll probably drink that again, actually, if, I, if that I come across it. If, so if you see it, I'll give it a go. It's not too bad. Well, anyway, 
thanks for watching. There's a game of cards going, so I've got to shoot off. And I'll see you again, hopefully, maybe tomorrow to get that, that path maker out of the way. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.